so pricing is always a sensitive subject, and uh, with the recent closure of many high street retailers, their lack of, lack of success in recent times has been blamed on online, shopping online, the convenience factor of shopping online. Um, so in terms of how pricing and pricing parity and how that plays a large part in terms of the, sort of the sale proposition, mm -hmm. um, how do you see this affecting the customer journey and how do you see, see high street retailers combating this? Sure. I, I completely agree. I think that um, the piece that I really agree on is that customer demands have changed. Uh, convenience is now quite a priority. Uh, so I think that you know, e-commerce has done a really great job in catering to this need. That being said, you know, do I feel this is you know, the end of the high street? Not at all. Um, I think if you were to look back at what the high street was 20 years ago, it was a mixed space. It was you know, retail, it was coffee shops, it was pubs, it was services. It was more of a holistic experience rather than what it's now become, which I think is more acutely focused on retail. So people just go in you know, to go to the shop and then come back. I think what we'll see is we'll start to see a shift of high streets turning back into what it used to be. Because what this does is it, it engenders an environment and kind of an ecosystem that e-commerce is never going to be able to replace. You're not going to go to your online site to meet your friends and have a coffee and then you know drift into store to store and do some window shopping now I didn't realize the new line is out. This will never be replaced by e-commerce so I think that we'll see that shift back in mm -hmm. and I think it will, will, will sooner or later hit an equilibrium of where it should be. I think we can, you can all already see the suggestions about happening yeah. on the high streets at the exactly. moment. So like large fashion retailers, they have coffee shops that exactly. are inside. You know, they might not necessarily be purchasing from them, yeah. but they're browsing, they're looking, exactly. they're kind of like, it's more of a social enterprise piece than a, a kind of a direct go and purchase. Completely agree. And similarly, in terms of um, some of the sporting retailers that work, we work with, they implanted gyms on site. Yeah. So you actually go to the gym and then you might buy something afterwards. But mm -hmm. it's all, all about, like you said, it's the change and the evolution of the, the high street. Perfect.